Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Well, this is actually a pretty amazing day for our scientists and planet hunters out there. Uh, as news has come in, spreading across the web, of three, count them, three new Earth-like planets that have been discovered orbiting a cool and giant red dwarf star. So they found these Earth-like worlds, and you're seeing an animation looping over and over uh, of what it would look like from the surface of one of these planets. And so they found these Earth-like planets orbiting this dwarf star 40 light years away from Earth in another star system, and this dwarf star uh, known as TRAPPIST-1. And if you know anything about dwarfs, um, this wasn't exactly the kind of star that scientists expected uh, to have planets orbiting it. Now, this star basically is, has half the temperature and is a tenth of the mass of our own sun. And this star is red, it's barely larger than the planet Jupiter, and extremely too dim to be seen with the naked eye or even with amateur telescopes here on Earth. But these uh, brown dwarfs are extremely common in the Milky Way, and according to the data, represent 25 to 50 percent of stellar objects in the galaxy, which is quoted by researcher Julian DeWitt, who is a postdoctoral associate of MIT's Department of Earth, Atmospheric, and Planetary Sciences. So basically, they didn't even know that this dwarf had these three planets orbiting it. Uh, they were studying uh, various different brown dwarfs and red dwarfs and basically just took a chance and decided to study one of the, the stars that they had picked out from a group. And obviously it paid off. They found these three Earth-like planets orbiting it. And this is very exciting news because it once again corroborates our belief that there are definitely other advanced or at least living beings out there, whether they are simply in their microbial stages or if they are up walking right and flying around in anti-gravity technology, but they're out there. And the fact that they just basically and at random decided to study this particular red dwarf star and found not one but three planets orbiting it is just amazing and it definitely shows you how much more common these Earth-like planets, just like ours, uh, are in our very own Milky Way, let alone the entire universe and in other galaxies. Now, as for the telescopes that they're using to detect and study these planets, the next generation of which will be able to search for subtle signatures of biomarkers like oxygen and provide much more detailed information about the planet's composition, temperature, and pressure. And again, as you've been seeing, we are showing you some other artist renditions of other Earth-like planets that have been found, uh, such as this image here of Kepler 452b, which is basically called Earth's bigger, older cousin, which is about 1400 light years from Earth in the constellation Cygnus. Here we have another illustration that depicts Kepler 62f, which is another planet in the habitable zone of a star smaller and cooler than our sun, uh, in the same system as Kepler-62e, which is this planet you're seeing here, about 1,200 light years away from Earth in the constellation Lyra. So again, it's all very interesting. Um, it's always great to be able to post new news uh, and findings uh, from our science community about these planets that they're finding out there. It definitely increases the odds that we are going to find one of these planets and detect activity on them. It's only a matter of time if we haven't already, which is a very good possibility. So very, very awesome. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, stay tuned and we'll have a lot more coming. Stay safe, guys. Thank you.